yo, 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 yo. I say, yo. I say, yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jaren Ranks, coming at you guys with another video, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like on this video and hit that subscribe button, man. Also, guys, I need each and every single one of you guys to hit that notification bell so every time I upload or stream, you guys will be notified. Also, guys, I always drop a post in the community tab anytime I upload a video, so there's no way you guys can miss it. But if for some reason you guys do end up missing it, whatever whatever the case may be, y'all can always follow me on Twitter. The link is down below in the description at Real Jar Ranks and subscribe to my vlog channel, Jar Ranks Vlogs, if you guys want to see some IRL content. But anyways, we're gonna get straight into today's video. So, guys. As you guys know, my fashion mode has been introduced to WWE 2K22, and it's been a lot of fun. A lot of people have been enjoying it, um, enjoying it um, as I have been. So it's been pretty lit. But I wanted to tell you guys the the truth about this game mode right here. Now, y'all probably wondering like, what is this guy even talking about? Listen, guys, there's one thing that's missing from this mode. Um, two things actually, and I'm gonna leave a video link down below in the description, guys. I made a video, um, you know, getting into the 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 main topic or the two main things um you know from this video which is an auction house and online modes now it's pretty simple guys if you guys don't know um if you ever played nba 2k my team this mode is literally the same thing like nba 2k my team faction wars is like triple threat offline you could say proving grounds is kind of like domination um and then obviously there's weekly challenges things like that obviously the way how you uh you know control your team your collection uh, the store has packs there's a token market there's a lot of things that are very similar just to nba 2k my team remember guys it's underneath the same banner being 2k but guys mainly what i'm trying to say is this if there was an online mode in this mode right here it would take it to the next level um we'd be able to actually use our cards online like this is the lineup that i use for um for uh fashion wars right now but if i put in the rest of the superstars it would just be natalia and then the last one would be uh yeah, I would say Beth Phoenix. But um, yeah, this is what my lineup looks like right now, guys. But the only thing that's super frustrating is that we cannot play online. There's no online mode. So it's like, even as even as you know, as the mode goes on and we keep having fun on it, when we start to beat these challenges or finish these challenges, yes, 2K will update it. Like I can confirm for you guys right now. Fashion Wars will be updated 100 percent confirming it. When you guys see the update on Fashion Wars, you guys can come come back to this video. It will 100 thousand percent be updated. How do I know this? Like I told you guys before, this mode is just like triple threat offline on NBA 2K my team. It's gonna get updated. It's gonna be a certain amount of wins you have to get to get the next card or you know different kinds of rewards that they're gonna add to this board. 100 percent that will be upgraded. Um, or updated also guys the token market i can 100 percent confirm the token market will be updated just like mb 2k my team um it will be updated they're gonna add new cards um it's not guaranteed they're gonna add new cards to the lower rankings um i can guarantee that they're definitely gonna add new cards to the ruby and up now maybe because the you know the rankings are a little bit different maybe all of them will get rankings but i can 100 percent guarantee you that there will be some form of update to the token market adding new players um, allowing us to get new you know new cards other than just these ones right here because you have to think about it guys they really think 2k would just leave it at this amount of cards that you can get and not make there be better awards there available that's just not the case so you know stay tuned for an update and another thing too guys like i said with the auction house oh yeah actually hold on let's get to the collector's level guys the collector's level cards right here real quick guys these are terrible rewards bro like they're they're absolutely terrible like there's no reason to have any like other than the undertaker that you can upgrade to a diamond because at that point it'll be the highest tier card in the game because am after come you know after amethyst comes diamond so i mean once you get to the undertaker you really have nothing else to go for i mean the oscar like how much better is it than the ruby oscar that we already have and they're also going to be dropping a lot of packs guys you have to remember that they're gonna be dropping packs and like, you know, Triple H had a great career. He just retired, if you guys don't know. But yeah, even like a 91 Triple H, like it's cool that it's an image, it's the second best tier in the game, but it's not the first best tier. So is it really worth collecting 780 cards and you're more than likely gonna have to open up packs? Like for an example right now, guys, the packs are absolutely terrible. 
why because it's the beginning of the cycle this is how 2k works guys i know this because i play my team it's the same exact thing even with the prime time series cards or signature series cards these are the same exact packs that have been in nba 2k my team if you think i'm lying just look it up on youtube it's not hard to find but the main point i'm trying to say right now guys is that the cards in this in this collection is terrible you guys saw it i already have an amethyst in my collection i have rubies why would i want to open up these signature series packs oh yeah because to get to the collector's level rewards but at the same time do i personally want to get there no i mean the undertaker card will be cool but i already have an amethyst undertaker so how much better will that you know undertaker be once i evolve him to a diamond like i don't really think it'll be much better and on top of that there's already undertaker cards available on fashion wars so if you just play fashion wars and if you guys want a method on how to win fashion wars matches fast check it out man it's one of the most recent videos i uploaded i'll leave it in the card so you guys can watch it but um yeah like there's already undertaker here so guys the main point is this they're like the packs right now are terrible so don't even open them um as the year goes on the packs will get better i suggest you guys save up your your my fashion points do not spend them on these packs i repeat do not spend your my faction points on any of these packs. Why? Because they're all terrible. There's no good cards in them. They're all emeralds. Um, especially this one right here is all terrible. The only incentive is if you're someone that just wants for some reason to get collector's level awards when they're not worth it at all. Why why try to go for an Undertaker? You know, the only card that's worth it off this board when you could just simply um, you know, grind my faction or faction wars and just get it that way. Like it's not worth it at all like there's no cards from here that's worth it and then on top of that these these my fashion cosmetics are terrible like to give that to us for getting 730 cards collected is pretty bad now i don't want to complain too much because this is the first year of my fashion so obviously 2k is just trying to figure out how they're going to do the mode or whatever or just trying to give it the base like the basis so over time it can update i can understand that but outside of that guys stay away from the packs for the foreseeable future um they're gonna get better as the year goes on i can confirm that obviously um they're gonna start dropping better packs like as you guys know there's no john cena cards except there's an emerald john cena in packs why does 2k do that because they want people to spend money on vc to try to get a john cena why john cena is one of the most if not the most popular wrestler of all time you know along with the rock things like that so they're going to be putting those kinds of cards in packs um if you look in the token market there's no John Cena cards at all. I can confirm that to you right here, right now. But um, they do have a Rock card. Um, you know, they have obviously an Undertaker, Brett Hitman the Heart, or Brett the Hitman Heart. So you guys get the gist with the with the whole uh, with the pack situation. Now, guys, in terms of the auction house, guys, for an example, you guys see how there's a pack market and there's cards that you can open in NBA 2K My Team. Cards like this will have a value. Why? Because you will be able to put it on the auction house. And you know, people would have to spend a certain amount of my fashion points to get it. For an example, John Cena will probably be a card that's highly sought after because of simply because of his name is John Cena. Now, how much at my fashion points would he cost? I don't know, but there would be a market for him that we would, you know, we would be able to determine how much he's worth just simply by what his price is. Um, so the fact that we don't have an auction house kind of takes away from the fun of the game also you know sometimes people that don't know the value of a card might put a card up on the auction house for cheaper and you would be able to get that card you know which would be a still we used to call that or we still do call that sniping if you guys are confused about what the auction house is remember guys click the link down below in the description to watch the video where i explain i literally made a video on this explaining why the auction house and the multiplayer mode would literally make my faction mode blow up like literally take it to the next level times 100 you know those two things are very important to my fashion people are already having fun so yeah that's pretty much it guys i pretty much touched on everything i wanted to touch on in my fashion mode um will they update proven grounds that i i'm not a hundred percent sure but i would like to say yes if i had to i would go right now i would say 70 30 i'm 70 percent sure that they're gonna update proven grounds because once you get to once you beat proven grounds um, you know, obviously the weekly towers is, is going to continue to get updated because it's called the weekly towers for a reason. So every week it should be something new, but, um, yeah, proving grounds is kind of tough, you know, to decide. Cause I don't know if they just expect that since there's a lot of matches, cause look like for each and every tab, there's like seven matches. So you guys do the math on it. Each and every tab has seven matches. And, um, yeah, like I said, do the math on it. It's a lot of matches to go with. 
So um, I don't know if they think that people just, it might take people the whole year to beat it. I don't know, but I already got through chapter one. And to be quite honest, I could have got to chapter three already, but you know, making content, doing other things, it takes time. So I just can't bum rush through everything. But um, yeah, I pretty much touched on everything I wanted to touch on. Um, obviously you guys see the, you know, the collection right here, premium. This is where, this is how you guys know that, you know, the packs are going to get updated. Um, there used to be like, uh, collector's rewards every time you, you know, get these cards. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, here it is right here. We do have some collection rewards. So we're not done with the video yet. So as you guys can see right there, as I just showed you, there are collection level rewards. So that's a, that's you know, it's slightly a bit of a more reason why you want to open packs. There might, you know, as the year goes on, there's going to be cards that, you know, are actually worth going for because they're a part of a collection set reward. But at the same time, there's no auction house. So, you know, you're basically going to have to spend money or just simply build up your own my fashion points, <clears throat> you know, to obtain certain, you know, some of these cards because you may open packs, but you may not see the Randy Orton card and things like that. So, um, I don't know how much better it gets from right here. You see right here, the collection set reward is a my fashion consumable, which is pretty terrible. Um, <clears throat> and then the fourth one is, is a my fashion consumable. So, yeah, there is collection set rewards, which is cool. Um, they, you know, they will get better over time. You see right now, they're pretty bad. I don't know if the Prime Series one had any. Okay, so the Prime Series does have a collection set reward, uh, and you know, an Alexa Bliss. Um, what else they got? <clears throat> and uh, my fashion cosmetics, which is pretty terrible and same thing so yeah there's you know there's collection set rewards um it will get better over time as the updates happen um so you guys can stay tuned for that obviously um if i look through i don't see any collection set rewards for these um there's manager cards that you can get you see the diamond william regal um there's a lot of things you can do guys uh but you know that's pretty much it for that i just wanted to make sure that i touch base on everything also guys evolution cards um it's fairly easy to evolve these cards so don't don't feel discouraged when you see these i might try to get the undertaker to a ruby but then again i really don't feel the need to do it because i already got you know the my best undertaker card to amethyst so i'm not about to sit here and try to get another undertaker card up but yeah guys i don't want to keep talking your head off that's the truth about my fashion mode man that i had to just spill the truth to y'all some questions that some of y'all might have had that might not have been answered i just answered for y'all boys man so hey you already know what to do man if y'all enjoyed this video um oh yeah and i'm gonna make a video separately in terms of uh finding lock codes i'm gonna find all the lock codes that are available right now make a video for you guys so you guys can go ahead and type them in get some free stuff but um yeah that's pretty much it you already know what to do man you already know what i'm about to ask you to do drop a like hit the subscribe button if you're a new viewer and you have not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and guys hit the notification bell so anytime i upload or stream you guys will be notified. You guys are gonna see me get these, you know, build on my team, get better cards as the year goes on. Y'all boys already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you guys check out the link down below in the description where I better explain the multiplayer modes and the auction house mode. Um, I even go on NBA 2K my team and show you guys the differences or the comparisons that I was trying to say in this video so you guys can get a better understanding of it. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It's your boy Jar Ranks. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next video or stream, man. Peace. Gang, they cannot do it like him. Uh, uh huh. Nobody shooting like him. Gang, nobody doing like him. That nigga hate everyone because he broke, and that's why nobody like him. Gang, SD Glow, now he talking this shit.